everybody uh we're getting together um a lot of us like to play gala games a lot of us like to play uh the walking dead empire so kind of just going through some strategy ideas we had a meeting yesterday and kind of just talked about some things some updates to the game um so we're kind of doing that now as well um let me just show a few things um been, i've been acquiring a lot of these items over the last i'd say eight months uh on dips because i knew that one day we'd, we, we would be here um and this strategy has always worked well for me to kind of acquire items cheaply and then uh once the hype of the game takes off yeah uh, you know to try and take advantage of that or whatever but anywho out in our discord we have uh walking dead empires uh room uh we're also going to play some poker tonight over at poker go um around about what three hours from now one of the reasons i wanted to do that is one i wanted to have a weekly poker night i think that would be fun for whoever can show up but they're running a special if you win 15 hands then you get a free character so i thought for people that didn't have a character i thought it might be kind of cool they extended the time so just wanted to make sure if, if nobody had a character they can come out there and play and and try and get one for you know free for just spending some of your time there but anyway um I have a Google Sheet up here, and the reason I made this is because a lot of us have been acquiring items, and um, there's certain things around uh, the sheet uh, and these items, like the heroes are going to be really important as far as uh, leveling up. Just give me a sec. I have to open up a notepad here <laughs> um, with a bunch of updates to the game um, land is going to be pretty important, uh, so we'll talk about that in a minute. Heroes, eventually, though, if you have three of the same rarity, you can combine them together and then take them up to the next rarity. So I thought that would be cool uh, for people trying to progress through the game. So I thought maybe a sheet like this would be good uh, where we can kind of just trade amongst ourselves or, you know, if somebody needs something and, oh, you know, Moo's got that thing, I'd like that thing, uh, whatever, we can kind of figure it out. Um, don't feel like you have to put in the link to OpenSea or a price. You don't have to do that. I, I can do that. Or if you just ask me not to, I won't. But I just thought it might make it easy for somebody uh, because I won't be able to keep this updated every day. Like I, I just don't have the time to do that. But if there's a link out there um, to OpenSea or something like this, you can kind of just click on a link and just see what the going rate is. My experience with these things is as the game rolls here, a lot of these things will increase in price. And I've been acquiring items now for a long time, waiting for this November 8th date, so, uh, which is tomorrow. So we're going to be able to play tomorrow. Uh, a lot of us have a lot of fun playing this game. We have former psychic nerds that will be coming back um, that helped us uh, before. Uh, we'll have some new people you guys have probably never played with. Um, so, you know, our, our guild usually does pretty good. I think the last time we ranked like sixth in one stat and seventh in the other. So we did pretty well. And I would love to... Um, even in the sheet, if you want to just kind of put in maybe the times that you typically play, uh, you can use GMT or whatever time you want. I can figure it out, but, uh, the most successful guilds kind of play 24 seven, you know, they kind of, they rotate. So they're, they're always kind of doing things. Um, and David, I would say we did really well last time. Like there was always yeah. people playing. Yeah. Mm. And that's really what pushed us over the edge is that there was always people playing. So, um, you know, sometimes it was only two or three at a time, but, um, you know, it, it kind of really helped us get a foothold. And, you know, people are, who are brand new to the game coming in, they don't know which guild to join. They see a name like Psychic Nerds and uh, they're doing pretty well. And that one sounds interesting compared to a lot of the <laughs> boring names uh, that people name their guilds uh, and they kind of join us. So uh, that also helped. Uh, I, I met a few new friends uh, doing that last time. So anyway, kind of cool. So um let me click off here so what we know about the game so far is uh basically this is an open alpha so it's a persistent open alpha what what that means is um basically you're going to be able to retain a lot of the things a lot of the masteries um the the levels of your heroes the experience the skill tree even possibly the currency dave did you hear anything about the currency if we're going to uh -huh. keep that they're, they're not uh, on Deadcoin yet. They're calling it uh, Scrap. Scrap, okay. Yeah. And scrap is the currency, and then they want to turn that later on into Deadcoin. And there's a whole new marketplace in there, isn't there? Where you can mm -hmm. take all this scrap. Like a shop, and, yeah. And you can buy items and things. And it looks like a lot of special... And you can sell your stuff, too, for Scrap. 
which is nice because in previous iterations of this play test, a lot of us just dump stuff on the ground because we don't need it. So it would be nice to be able to actually sell it in inside the yeah. game, get something for it. Uh, one of the coolest gameplay things that I saw, I saw a tree fall on some walkers and it like knocked them silly. So they were like walking around and getting in, like they, they got knocked a little. <laughs> so that was kind of cool. Um, so what else we got here? Oh, I heard the walking dead boxes. They, so inside of our bases, uh, if anybody bought those walking dead, uh, boxes, uh, we'll be able to put them in our trophy case and, and we'll actually get a buff. So I don't know if it's a headquarters buff or it's a character buff. I'm not really sure. Uh, but a couple I sources. I think you can do both. Okay. It works both ways. Now, David, would you say, like, uh, do you have a couple boxes? No. No. I have a couple. I think I have a Rick, and I think Dungeon has a Michonne, I think. Um, but I don't think we're going to be running with those characters. So I think Dungeon's going to run with uh, an Ancient pr Princess, and I'll, keep, I'll be running with a Legendary Glen, I think. Uh, hopefully I, maybe I'll buy another, uh, legendary Glenn cause I'd like to bump him up to ancient, but, uh, Glenn's my favorite character in the show. So I'll probably go with that. Um, what else we got? Uh, so yeah, you'll be able to get a buff out of those boxes. If you have them, I haven't been checking the prices. I have been checking the marketplace, uh, yesterday and today and things are starting to go. You can find a deal, but you got to be right on it. So if you come across something in, you know, you got to be ready to buy it right away because obviously people are buying things now because the game's going to start. Um, looks like when you move your headquarters, uh, the levels are going to stay. Oh, this is a, a new thing as well. When you die, your items don't get dispersed all over the ground. They're, they're contained in a backpack. So, you know, you might have to just run by and grab a backpack for somebody or whatever. Um, also, when you upgrade this, uh, when you upgrade your HQs, um, you're going to lose all the items inside of your headquarters. So we're going to have to kind of have storage lockers and things where, you know, somebody can throw their stuff in one of our bases um, as if we want to move. Sorry, I said upgrade, but I meant move our base. Uh, so just keep that in mind. Looks like uh, we're, they're going to allow us at this very beginning portion, and they'll add on to this as we go, but looks like headquarter levels will be able to go to level 60, and hero levels will be able to go to 100. Um, somebody told me today that there's 38 new weapons, and even, even the common weapons have new abilities that we haven't seen yet, so that'll be kind of cool. Um, yeah, that's about all I know. Do you guys, do you guys have anything else you kind of came across that's interesting? I haven't had a chance to watch okay. it. Okay. Not that I can think of. No. Okay. <clears throat> we typically go to P32 is the area in which we will always kind of just, I don't know, we just randomly, I think, pick that or it was divinely inspired. I'm not really sure, but uh, we typically wind up in P32. Um, I think we should just plan on going there again. Because uh, Dungeon and I will have some rare land, and uh, there's other people around us that have higher land, we might just try and find a, a space outside of that grid, but right outside. If we can't, uh, then we'll just go to the P32. Um, you will have the ability to teleport now, so you always had the ability to teleport back to your own base, uh, and I think it was a five-minute cooldown. Um, yeah. But but now you'll be able to go to anybody in your alliances base and with a five minute cooldown as well. So, um, what else? Yeah, that's pretty much it. So I think we're going to try and be around P32. One of the issues we had before is, uh, people were kind of saying to me privately, Hey, uh, I like that we're all in the same area, but people have, have built too close to me. So I can't really build walls and things around, um, a space. So just try and space out a little bit if you can. Uh, and we'll be chatting during the game. I'll, I'll be running a Twitch or a Zoom or something like that, probably uh, on and off, or we can use the voice chat. Anybody here should be able to use the voice chat inside of um, our Discord. And you guys can just, you know, voice chat if that's a better way to communicate. Um, so if, if some of us need to go outside of P32, then we'll, we'll just do that. So, um, yeah. yeah. All right. What else do we want to go over here? I want to go up and just kind of show some of this activity. Um,
like I said, if you're out here trying to look for a deal, trying to pick something up, you, you got to be right on it because they go pretty quick. Um, during our uh, Psychic Nerds anniversary show thing, I was able to pick up just common land uh, for $60, $70, $80. And I gave those away to a couple people uh, that won a prize. Um, so that's great. They're going for about $120, $110 now. Um, but even the, uh, even these uncommons have, you know, if you, if you're looking to get a deal, you got to be right on it. So I'm not saying anybody needs to buy anything. That's not what I'm saying. And if, and if you have friends or family that want to play this game, because actually during the last play test, I, I had some friends and family play with us and they really liked the game and they were able to play with nothing. Um, and it's same thing here. Uh, people can play with nothing. They don't have to come in with anything. There's a couple standard characters that they can play with. It's just, they won't be able to earn. Now, when we get to the earn portion, it's all going to be based upon your land. So not financial advice, but if you're ever thinking about getting land, uh, you should have probably got it within the last six months. But if you don't have any yet, and you're looking to earn, I would, I would do it from the land. So I would probably get a piece of land. Um, what's great about these persistent characters is, uh, an uncommon at a certain ranking or mastery. If it's a higher ranking and mastery than a different one, uh, you're going to be able to command a, a higher price for that. So it's something to think about. Um, these are your items, you're leveling them up. You should be able to turn around and, uh, unload them. Um, especially if you, if you buff, bump them up a little bit. So, um, what else can I say about that? I, I find this is amazing. Um, I mean, David, you remember what this land was going for, this ancient land, right? 15 ETH. <clears throat> I'm not saying anything. I don't know. <laughs> that, I only got un uncommon land. That's that's enough. <laughs> but, but somebody got this for two grand. So, you know, yeah. uh, somebody got a really good deal there. I think it was there for about one second. So... Um, mm -hmm. anyway, um, yeah, that's about all I have to say about that. Um, do you guys have any ideas about, uh, you know, we talked about a lot about strategy yesterday. We did not record that, that recording. Um, but just kind of any thoughts, are you excited to play? You know, what are you, what are you guys' thoughts? Should be fun. We'll just, yeah, we'll just meet up and hang out. Do some runs. Yeah. Um, I was kind of thinking uh, last time um, it was kind of tough. Maybe somebody would say, hey, uh, I'd like to upgrade my base, but then they go, oh, I need this and this and this and that. Um, maybe if you're getting ready to upgrade, maybe say, I can upgrade if I have, you know, somebody can bring me a hundred wood or a or hundred metal or something. Um, and, when, and when you actually upgrade, it's it's neat to have some some other people around because you, you get like a wave of zombies coming in Yeah. when you upgrade Yes. Yeah. So every time you upgrade your base, there's, there's zombies that come that are attracted there. Um, let's try and do it in a round robin fashion. I think um, like if David upgraded, maybe I'm next to go and then Beetlejuice and then Thomas um, and maybe try and keep that kind of circular round robin uh, order going. But you know, if, if, if it costs a ton of stuff uh, for me to upgrade my stuff, I might just skip it, you know? Um, you know, maybe David goes and then Beetlejuice goes and then Thomas, then me or something mm. like this. So, um, what else? I think that's pretty much it. Uh, the animals look killer. So they've introduced a bunch of animals, uh, bears and wolves and, uh, rabbits and things. Uh, so, and deer. So that should be kind of cool. Um, David, how did you feel about the or Beetlejuice? How did you feel about the uh, player versus player last time? Because that was that was kind of tough, right? I ran from him. <laughs> yeah, I, I only went in there once and and got killed right away, like instantly. They, people jumped me and I was out again, so I never went in there again. Yeah, well, it wasn't much fun. That's you what... <clears throat> Go ahead. You go in as a team. You, you got to, yeah. yeah. You got to go in as a team because I went into yeah. there and I, you know, I think I'm fighting one guy and then like five guys jump out of nowhere and I, I'm getting mm -hmm. my ass beat. So, um, yeah, don't don't be like me. So, <laughs> have some backup. Gang up, gang up. Yeah. Um, 
I, last time that bow staff, uh, the special abilities, you would get hit and you'd kind of be knocked kind of, you couldn't really respond with a, some sort of counter attack or anything. So, um, I don't know if they fixed that or not, but, um, I guess be on the lookout for that to get hit with a bow staff. Um, yeah, I used that quite a bit. Yeah. The specials on that were cool. Yeah. Especially against the big fat guys. <laughs> Call on you. Yeah. So we were able to kind of hack the system before where we would just craft a bunch of uh, baseball bats and then just throw them to the side and it would, it would, it would level up our crafting very quickly. Um, I don't know if we're going to have the ability to do that anymore. Um, you can sell them though. Yeah. Should be able to sell them. See, my character was always lower, so I couldn't use the higher graded or I couldn't make them. Sorry. Yeah. So we also have to make the higher end. Yeah. So that's always going to be an issue. I think that's why I'm almost thinking um, we need to be very uh, thoughtful about, because I have pretty high level stuff and even I was crafting stuff that my character couldn't use. <laughs> right? right. So, um, so that was an issue. Um, but now you can sell them. But now we can sell them. That's, that's correct. That's a good point. I didn't think about that, but yeah, you're right. Um, what else? Do you have do you guys have a preference between Zoom or Twitch? Zoom works for me. Okay. I have no experience with Twitch. Okay. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, can you guys think of anything else we need to say before I turn off the recording? Not really. No. Maybe for those guys without, uh, well, P32 is uncommon land, and the ones without land or with common land, they would make sense to set up camp in, in what is it then, a O32? So yeah. we're, we're pretty close by to help out when, when you upgrade your HQ. And and David was is O thirty two is it like uh, northwest corner of P thirty two? I think it was it was uh, south of it. South, okay. Right. South southeast. Okay. Yeah, well, practically next to it. I really like the map features this time. It shows everyone in your alliance where their stuff is. Um, it, it, the map stuff looks a lot better than before because remember we were yeah. so confused. They improved um, that, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to think what else. I think that's pretty much it. We'll just figure it out as we go. Um, yeah. Anyway, I uh, hope you guys join us uh, or join a few of us for poker uh, tonight. If you need a character, it's a it's a great way to get one. Uh, uh, you're going to have to register. If you don't have a Gala Games ID, you'll have to uh, go register and get one, and then you should be able to play Poker Go. It's a real fun game, and we'll find some place where we can kind of play. Hopefully, we can all sort of play together, and um, we'll just see how it goes. But um, cannot wait for the Walking Dead Enterprise or uh, Empires, sorry, tomorrow. Um, and it'll be about uh, 23 hours from now, 22 and a half hours from now. So, yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah, I'll probably come That's in. That's what and... they aim for. Yeah. Yep. I've heard right from the Tweety site, you're also going to be able to download. And uh, people have suggested to me that uh, that would be an easier download than going through the Gala Games site. Uh, but I don't know anything about that. So um, I think before there was a lot of people trying to download off one in one place through the launcher. And it was kind of, it, some people were running into an issue. So that might, that might be an option if you're running into an issue. I um, think that's it. See you guys tomorrow. Cannot wait. I'm ready. I'm ready for death and destruction. So get ready to rumble. <laughs> get ready to rumble. That's right. Bye. <laughs>